Greetings, everyone. Jim here from Storm Warning News. And Pentagon stockpiles are uncomfortably low amid Ukraine transfers, officials admit. Let's have a look at some details. It is not at the level we would like to go into combat, a U.S. defense official told the Wall Street Journal of the Pentagon's fast depleting stockpiles due to unprecedented defense aid to Ukraine and stressed in particular that artillery ammunition is now uncomfortably low. What's more is that the shortfall will likely last into the future given the norm is for new purchases and then manufacturers supply the weapons to take a process of years. Now, the U.S. has during the past six months supplied Ukraine with 16 U.S. rocket launchers known as HIMARS, thousands of guns, drones, missiles, and other equipment. Much of that, including ammunition, has come directly from U.S. inventory, depleting stockpiles intended for unexpected threats, defense officials say the report spells out. In total so far, the U.S. has pledged to send about $13 billion in arms to Ukraine after only six months of conflict. Given the alarm over Washington's own dwindling stockpiles, the DOD is now opting to send 105mm rounds to Ukraine instead of the 155mm guided smart artillery shells. And already at this point, it seems the Pentagon is becoming increasingly uncomfortable with the rate of these and other donations as far as weaponry and the like being sent over to the Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal report indicated further that the U.S. Army has requested of Congress another $500 million per year to enhance its own ammo factories. It remains that the biggest winner in all of this is the big defense contractors and manufacturers. Well, of course it is. Meanwhile, other NATO allies are facing the same problem and worry, especially neutral Germany, which has dramatically shifted its historic stance on not sending weapons into foreign conflict zones. A number of German politicians have warned that Berlin should not be sharing weapons from its own arsenal, given that, unfortunately, the situation here is such that we have an absolute deficit in our own stocks, and that was according to the recent words of Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock. Well, of course, the military-industrial complex is going to benefit from this, my friends, but this is also putting NATO and the U.S. in a precarious position should someone like, uh, oh, I don't know, Russia and China maybe decide to take a shot at us. We're sending all of this weaponry over to the Ukraine, and in essence, it seems to me that U.S. and NATO are fighting a war against Russia using the Ukraine as proxies. This is precarious, my friends, and something we certainly need to keep an eye on. Now, please remember the word of God is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Press into Jesus Christ and have no fear, my friends. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.